Of five people, three must pay a price. Imbibitor Lune, the chief culprit, chose to use the transmutation arcanum as a means of resurrection, begetting terrible transformation and great calamity in the process. He dishonored the name of the fallen. Ying Sing, the accomplice, arrogant and oblivious, used the flesh of the Abundance Emanator to assist Imbibitor Lune in his evil. He fell, becoming an immortal abomination. As for Jing Liu, the sinner, she succumbed to Mara, slaughtered her people, and abandoned her oath. Now it is time we pay for what we have done. Don Hung, you can never escape the shadow of Invibitor um. Lune. He is your origin, and his sins will accompany you in your path forward. Until you meet your eventual doom. Blade. What a fitting name. In the remainder of your infinite life, you will experience only murder and your own death. All the while pleading for a place to rest. This is the only way you are able to relinquish Ying Sing's regrets. And I this is so scary. will face the punishment of the Alliance and suffer an eternal punishment before paying an even worse price. That is the only way to keep the memory of the pain of the past from fading away. High Cloud Quintet, it is time to say goodbye. Um. A wineless gathering, accompanied by only sadness and bitterness. <sighs> what a depressing reunion. Will the alliance Jing just like Nguyen, send in sort of death to time you sent me to the Shuling? The laws of the alliance cannot be subject to change. Unfortunately. Your next stop will be the Yuchu. I reported everything to the Marshal, and the Seer strategists just so happened to take an interest in the case. They set up a Decalite reflection barrier in hopes of meeting the two of you beforehand. Jing Yuan, you haven't changed at <laughs> all. Always trying to destroy the plans of others. But in the end, whether it be you, me, the Cloud Knights, or the Generals of the Rainbow Arbiter. We are all just pawns in a game of the gods. I am sick and tired of treading on a predetermined path. No matter, I will deviate if you insist. But this does not change how things will end. Ultimately, I will stand on the side of victory. <sighs> then I shall see this gamble through. Wait. Jing Liu, before you leave, you still owe me my due. I have tried. Besides inflicting more he wants on your body. He wants to get stabbed some more? I can do for you. What? The immortality that you possess is not something that can be dealt with so easily. I am sure Destiny's slave already told you that the swords of mortals are incapable of killing someone with the flesh of an emanator. He did. But you still owe me the attempt. Ah. 
I told you when I taught you the way of the sword. I am uninterested in drawing my blade against someone who does not long for life, who wants only to be slaughtered. You will only draw against an opponent. Mm. So he'll fight. Allow me to repay you for your teachings. Savor the moment. I will deliver you oh. a brief moment of death. We were here once, seven hundred years ago. <laughs> Laughing, sparring, and thinking about the future. <laughs> Their faces still linger before my I'm, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Like a bygone dream. Oh my god, he was literally old. I thought those joyful days would flow indefinitely before us. Like a Sienjo lifetime. Yet, dreams. Will eventually fade like clouds from the sky. Oh, a familiar feeling. Almost as if we've returned to my first sword lesson. You use the sword in sync, crafted and pierced, sliced and impaled me time and time again. The sword play used to slay our enemies of old is still engraved on this despicable shell. All I can do is watch my flesh become severed, healed and restored. It's as if they're sane. Why? Why did you and Imbibitor Lune commit such an unforgivable sin? I know that you have no interest in my answer. Which is why I asked the question as you looked me straight in the eye. I've asked myself that same question infinite times, but was never able to find the answer. Why? Why is it that only the abominations can return time and time again? Why does someone like her have to be buried, burned to ash, and eventually forgotten? Why? In the end, you unleashed the final piercing blow and left both me and the sword in the withered grave. The miraculous thing is that in my brief moment of death, all the pain went away. Like when we drank to drown our sorrows. Oh no. <gasps> Yeah, he can't die. Clearly. Uh, 